Ideogram can make great POD designs, if you know what you're doing. Here's how to do it right. So let me first show you the interface of Ideogram. So to get to Ideogram, you just click the link in the description and then the website will look like this. Here on top you got the prompt box, but I will get to that later. So this is the home page and you can already see some public generations right here. So if you got creative block or something like that, you can just get inspired right here. So let's scroll to the top again. Now you can also filter by keyword right here. When you click on search, let's just enter cat. Press enter and we got all the different cat images. This is quite funny. So you go back right here and we already get some t-shirt designs. These are quite interesting. No, this is funny. So let's go up again and just click on that X right here. So you get the tab following and you can follow people. I don't follow anyone. So this is empty in my case. Then you can click on top. These are the top images from day. You can also set it on hour and week and month or even all time. You can also filter these images by people or products. If you need some product mockups, for example, then we got nature, we got posters, then we got logos. If you need a logo for your company, for example, and for our purposes, this is the most important category, t-shirt. Now you can already get inspired by these results. And if you like something, you can just click the image and get the prompt right here on the right side. So let's go back again. On the left right here, you got the button creations. And that's basically where you find all your creations that you made in Ideogram. Then you got this button that says canvas. Well, that's basically you get a canvas in Ideogram and you can edit your images like in Photoshop. But of course it's AI powered. Please write in the comments if you want a separate video about that. And then you get this badge icon right here. You get that for the biggest plan on Ideogram. And I use that heavily because I do my generations in batches. But for this batch function, you basically upload a big spreadsheet that includes all your different kinds of prompts. And then you just click generate. And after some time, you can download your images. Now, before we generate print on demand graphics in Ideogram, let's first talk about the things that makes a good POD design. And to show you some examples, we got the bestsellers tab in Flying Research right here. So basically, these are all the bestsellers on Amazon that sell like hotcakes right now. For some reason, there are a lot of derby shirts. Well, probably there's a derby, a horse derby going on right now. I, I know nothing about this niche. Then, of course, we got the Gulf of America shirt. We got a Cinco de Mayo shirt because that's just around the corner. And we got some graphic only designs like this horse or this Japanese cat or like this UFO cat. So what makes a good POD design? Well, first of all, the font is big and easy to read, just like in this example that says talk derby to me. And then we get a graphic that supplements the phrase or this design is also very easy to read. And what's also really important is the fact that you have to get the design idea at first glance, like this one, for example. You can see that it's a derby rider and the phrase says the best two minutes of your life. Or like this one, that's very colorful. It says Cinco de Mayo and it's got this Mexican hat and a guitar and stuff like that. This one is also a great example. It's a Gulf of America t-shirt and it shows Donald Trump as a stereotypical Mexican, I would say. And you can see that the font is really big and easy to read. You got the funny graphic in the middle. And by the way, it's very creative. And the design evokes an emotion. That's also very important. In this case, it's humor. So now we want to generate a design with ideogram. But of course, first we need a prompt for that. Let me show you an easy way to get prompts for your designs. So first we have to pick a design. So let's just enter raccoon and press search. Now we get all the different kinds of raccoon shirts. Now this looks quite cool. Dumpster fire response team. So in flying research, you just take your mouse and go over the image. Then you click this button right here on the left that says download. And there we are, we got the image right here. And now we go to ideogram. So here in ideogram, we just click this camera icon right here. Then we pick the image right here. And what we do now is we click the describe button. Just click it and now it does its magic and it's already done. Now we want to give this design a twist and we do that in ChatGPT. So let's just copy it. So here we have this very simple prompt that says, I have this prompt for the AI art generator ideogram. And then I just paste it in the prompt that we got from ideogram. And then I just prompt scale it to different animals. And here's my magic sauce. Always add this at the end of the prompts. 
Vector Art, Clean Lines, Dark Grey Background. Now let me explain why I always like to add these. I like to add Vector Art because it gives you this very specific POD style that sells really good. Well of course the design style always depends on the niche itself, but Vector Art or Cartoon Style in general sell really good in POD. Then I added Clean Lines because that helps getting a solid outline and this will make it easier to remove the background later. And this is basically the most important keyword, it's dark grey background, because when you generate the designs on a dark grey background, it makes it really easy for the background remover to distinguish between the graphic itself and the background. So this will give you way cleaner results than if you would generate your design on a black background. Okay, so let's press enter and see what we get. And here we go, we get two versions. So let's see, is it just a formatting? Let's just pick the left one. So here we go, we get the cat, the dog, the possum, the goat and the fox. So we got our keywords right here, that's really important. Let's just copy it and then we go to ideogram. So let's just delete this prompt and paste our new prompt. Now let's talk about the best settings for POD and ideogram. So we got the settings right here, just below our prompt. Let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, here we go. Now for POD designs, I would always set it to private generation because if you set it on public, anyone can see your generations on your profile. So set it on private. Then we got the aspect ratio right here. So we got portrait and we got landscape. And for POD designs, I always like to use the 4x5 format. You can also use the 3x4 format or the 2x3, but I got the best results with the 4x5 format. Then we click on the next button and this is where you set your model. So we can choose between these models right here and we got the 2A model, which is also the fastest, which already gives us good results. Then we got the 2.0 model and this model gives you better results than the 2A model. And we got the model 3.0 and this model gives you the best results. But it's also the most expensive model. Then we got the render speed right here. You can set it to turbo, default or quality. And yeah, the turbo render speed is basically faster and more affordable. And the quality model is slower but more detailed. And the default render speed is kinda like in between. So you always see the credits that are needed for the generation right here. Now it would need 4 credits. 2.0 is only half the cost. As you can see right here, only two credits and 2A is only half the cost of the 2.0 model. Let's pick the 3.0 model and you can also choose the number of images that it will generate. So you can save credits if you want. Let's set it to four. So now you may be asking which model should I choose? Well, it always depends on the plan that you got on Ideogram and the number of images that you want to generate in a month. So if you want to build your processes around Ideogram, just do a simple calculation. So the next button is the magic prompt and for this prompt we set it to off it would make sense to turn it on when your prompt is really simple because then ideogram would take this simple prompt and would try to enhance it then we got the style right here and for print on demand designs i would always set it to design and then we got the color right here you can set a color palette or also use a custom one but i think right now we don't need it so we just leave it on auto then we got these dots right here you can enter a seat number if you want a specific style of an image that you already generated and we got the negative prompt right here so you could enter things that you want to avoid in your image but right now we don't need that so we just click generate and it's waiting in the queue and it's 78 percent complete already and here we go generation complete now just click any image right here and you get to the results and look at it it looks amazing we got the dark gray background, that's perfect. We got the phrase dumpster fire response team. And we got the goat that's sitting on the laptop in the dumpster. And it's also burning. Let's check the other ones. That's quite similar. But his legs are out of the dumpster. That's quite funny. Let's check the next one. Yeah, it's quite similar. And the last one. Yeah, the shadow around the font is a bit different right here. I would pick the first one, or the second one is also quite funny. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to decide. Let's just pick the first one. So to download this image, you just click on this button that says download. And here we go. Now let's generate a second design. So let's just pick this fox right here. And you go to ideogram, just mark your prompt, paste it. And the settings stay like this, that's really great and just click generate and it's generating right here and 99% complete and generating complete 
so let's take a look yeah that looks quite good dumpster fire response team we got the fox here we got the font a bit different i like that and as you can see we got this hard black outline so that's basically perfect that's exactly what we want we got the third one and we got the last one right here so let's pick the second one and as you can see these generations are quite similar so it would make sense to just generate two or three images and as you can see the spelling is absolutely perfect so let's pick this one click download so here's a few words about what designs i would pick well first of all you have to check the spelling of course of the phrase and i would just go word by word over the phrase then you check if there are no mistakes in the graphic and then you of course only take designs that look good and where the font is big and easy to read and then it's also really important to pick designs where it's easy for the ai background remover to remove the background and this one is quite a really good example because we got this black hard outline on a dark gray background which makes it really easy for the background remover to distinguish between the design itself and the background so you get really clean results and that's just what we want so now we have to edit these designs and we start by removing the background so in my opinion, the best background remover for these kinds of designs is pixelcut.ai. You will also find the link in the description. So what you do is you just drag and drop your image right here. Let it load for a few seconds. And here we are. Can we zoom in a bit? No, not really. Okay, but you can already see that the background was properly removed. So to check, you just click some colors right here or click on this color wheel. And you can see that the gray background is basically perfectly removed. So set it on the checkerboard and just click download right here. Now to remove the background from the next design, you just drag and drop the image right here. Click on replace and it loads for a few seconds and here we go. It's really fast and really good. And by the way, I'm not even an affiliate. So you just check the background right here. But it looks really clean yeah it's amazing so set it on the checkerboard and click download so now we have to upscale the image and you can do this for free with this app that's called upscale you can also find the link in the description and it's also completely free so you just drag and drop your image right here then you have the settings like this and just click upscale and it runs on the machine and here we go it's done you can take a look with the slider right here now we can just open the image here it is now we got the design properties right here and it's a bit bigger than the merge format recommends so what i like to do is to bring this design to the merge format and we can just do this with affinity designer for example so you do the settings like this then you click create and we got basically the merge format right here in this artboard you drag and drop your image right here we have to make it a bit smaller then you center it yeah basically that's the center and what i like to do is to leave a bit of space on the top and at the bottom in my opinion it just looks better so we make it a bit smaller center it yeah now it's right in the center we just click export we got the resolution right here and here we go here it is now let's check the design properties click on this eye right here and yeah now it's basically perfect for amazon merge we got the size right here we got the color profile right here and it's only about seven megabytes so if you had bigger images you could compress these images with this free app that's called Cesium. and it's basically just really simple you just drag and drop your images right here well actually let's do it got the image right here and you just click this button that says compress and here we go it compressed this image about 13 percent well that's not much for this image but it was already small to begin with i would only use this image compression when you have really large files like 20 30 megabytes or something like that so we started with this design and got this design and i would say that's quite a good result oh yeah we also get this design of course the goat now you just write your listings for these designs and you're ready to upload. If you want to know a simple but effective method to write your listings, then check out this video right here.